So the first one is not unique to Firestorm. It's one that we ask almost on every episode, but is related to Firestorm more perhaps than other guests in the past, which is how can I get a cappuccino in your imagined political utopia? It's a fun question. So I think this question is good for a lot of reasons in that it is like relatively innocuous and avoids asking the like typical who will build the roads question, but fundamentally hits at the questions of like, how is society organized? And like, what's the role of like luxury goods? So yeah, this is a cool question. I have to admit though, that when I first heard the question, my immediate response was like, LOL, be ready to attend infinite meetings about who didn't properly clean the community espresso machine wand um, <laughs> in, in my future utopia. But, but that's a joke. Um, <laughs> And in fact, I don't want to go to those meetings any more than you do. So having settled into this question a little more, I think like the first thing that I would say is that I just categorically reject the idea of one utopia. So, you know, I, I like that this is framed as your imagined utopia. And certainly in the future that I want to live in, there's more than one utopia, sort of a world of many worlds to like quote the Zapatistas. So my feeling about this is, you know, we should let a million espresso machine flowers bloom and that literally however you want to get your espresso product that doesn't involve the enslavement of humans or other animals should be fair game in a, in a utopia. I do think though that like to really drill in on cappuccino, and I say this as a former barista, you really have to decide whether or not in our utopia we're approaching cappuccino as a craft or as a commodity. So if we are approaching it as a commodity, then it's just essentially the same as any other question of how do we distribute resources. You know, like if this is just about making an adequate cappuccino, then perhaps we're looking at a future in which it is automated. Perhaps if it's something that's still being made by hand, we're looking at a network of producer cooperatives things like this. I know for sure that in no utopian future that I can envision would people be working for tips for cranky customers who get to determine whether or not you can afford to pay your rent at the end of the month. And on the flip side, I think like the idea of cappuccino as craft is very compelling, right? Which puts us more in the territory of who will play violin in the utopia, right? And I think then it becomes like, well, I would like to imagine a utopia in which we all have an enormous amount of leisure time and it is possible to develop skills and artistry according to our passions. And I think for some people, making really incredible coffee drinks and sharing them with friends might fall pretty squarely into that same space as, you know, become an excellent painter or like some other craft-based skill. So those are my initial thoughts on the cappuccino question. <laughs> but for the love of the bean, we move forward. 